Welcome friends to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you where you can try your hand at acquiring Memron's head. According to Wowhead, this mount has a 1% drop rate. Let me show you where we're going to try to get it ourselves. So to start off, we are going to head to Northrend. The fastest way to get here is to either from Orgamar or Stormwind to go into the portal room and use the portal to take you to Dalaran. Once in Northrend, you want to make your way up here to Storm Peaks. And we are looking for the raid entrance to Olduwar. It'll be right here. Once you have located the raid entrance, you can see right here that setting it to normal, that Mimron's head is still going to drop. I don't think there's actually anything higher than normal for this. So I decided since I was making this video, I was going to have my husband tag along with me because two chances are better than one, I suppose. <laughs> I figured hopefully one of us would get it. All right, let me show you what we need to do. If you've never been in here, what you want to do when you first walk in is come over to right here and you want to talk to this dwarf, Bronzebeard. He will end up starting you off on everything. Once you've talked to him, there are some mechanics you can do, but right now we are just going straight for the mount. So instead of getting any of the gun turns or anything else that it'll tell you to get into, make your way all the way straight down. You're going to end up pulling a whole bunch of stuff. What you want to do is come all the way to the end. You're going to kill these giant statue guys. You might want to kill all the things that have come after you just for the sake of your frame rates. And this is the first boss we have to kill in order to get towards acquiring the mount. You'll see here on the map that there's three more bosses. Just go ahead and kill them. Nothing too fancy. Once you kill the boss at the very end of this hallway corridor thing, you will find a teleporter and you want to go ahead and get on this teleporter and you want to teleport to the Arc Chamber of Olduar. Once you're in here, you want to go ahead and make your way up the stairs. We do not care what is to the left or to the right of us. It is not important for what we are doing. Once you come into this area, you are going to have four different bosses that you need to kill. All of them are pretty straightforward except for one of them, so I'm only going to cover one of the bosses of how to actually get his mechanics to go because honestly it confused me when I was trying to do this. Before I explain this boss fight though, there is something that is extremely important that you note. Once you kill the bosses in these chambers, so these four bosses, they are going to create a nice little circle around uh, the walkway that you end up walking by. Do not talk to them. If you talk to them and say, yes, I need you to help me, the mount will not drop. That's very important that you notice this. Do not talk to the NPCs that are standing around this area because it'll end up ruining your whole entire chance in order for Memoron's head to drop. So just keep that in mind. This boss fight for Thorum is the only one that kind of needs a little bit of explanation of just how to get him to come down. What you have to do is you have to clear all the NPCs that are in this room first. Then you will pull a switch off to the left right there. And my husband ended up being the one that went in there. But all you actually end up doing is go in there, kill all the little trash that's in there. It'll take you all the way up to the top. You boop the guy in the snoot, he jumps down, and then you DPS him down. That's the only kind of weird thing about this is that if you've never done this before, it could really get confusing of like, how do I get this guy to, ju to jump down here. So there you go. Easy peasy. Once you've killed the four bosses in this area, you're going to head over here and you are going to get on the tram and just go ahead and press the button inside the tram car and it's going to take you to the next boss we need to kill. Now, one would think that this is the boss that would end up dropping the mount, but it actually is not, sadly. We have a few more steps we need to do. Once you have defeated this boss, you are going to head back up the stairs the way you came, but there will be a teleporter there. Go ahead and click on the teleporter and head your way to the Conservatory of Life. Again, make sure that you do not talk to any of these NPCs. We do not care about them once they are done. They have given us loot. They no longer are anything to us but peasants. So just keep that in mind. Don't talk to them. Now we are going to make our way down this way and there will be one more boss we need to kill before we finally make it to the boss that has the potential of dropping us this mount. Finally, here we are on the boss that has the chance to drop us Mimron's head. 
So this boss is a little bit interesting. They're gonna go through a bit of dialogue and you need to kind of get really close to this NPC. And it's going to be one of those ones that you can talk to this NPC. It's gonna end up spawning some of these little tentacle dudes. You wanna kill them right next to this NPC boss. They will go through a phase and they will turn into a big giant blob dude. Cause everything is a dude. <laughs> This does have a lot of dialogue, so here we go. Now that it's a big giant tentacle monster, you want to go ahead and DPS down its tentacles. It'll end up spawning some portals that'll open up. Go ahead and click on those portals. You need to go inside of there. You need to make sure that you check on your sanity. Just make sure that you don't look at any of the skull faces that I'm getting attacked by right now. Don't look at those directly. So for this one, and there are th two others, so there's three different scenarios you go into, but they're all the same of you go in, you kill all the DPS, then you're going to end up running all the way down the hallway or wherever it is. You're going to look for this big giant glowing tentacle monster. You want to just go ahead and book its snoot. And this honestly should insta-kill this tentacle boss because you are completely overpowered. Now, if you end up having too much insanity, you'll die. So just kind of keep that in mind of just keep an eye on your stuff. If you're too uh, willy nilly with it, it will end up taking you a few times to kind of just get this boss down. And of course, as expected, I was hoping this would drop for me because that would make a really cool video. But as always, no dice, <laughs> so maybe next time. For a side note, you can go back and kill the other two bosses that you ended up missing. Once you kill the tentacle dude, the last boss of this raid will spawn so you can go kill him. He's a big starry glowy guy. You don't have to though. If you're just coming in here for the mount, then you're done, that's it. But I really do hope that you have success getting this mount and that 1% is your 1% and it drops for you first try. Hopefully you enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you like videos like this, I post like this every week. So maybe think about hitting that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next mount video. Have a good one.